This is Marie from Overton Fancies, and I am going to demonstrate to you how to do the claws from my dragon kefir today. I've had uh, a good handful of people have some questions about that, and so I thought that, you know, a picture's worth a thousand words, so let's go ahead and just do a video. So it's pretty simple. It's just the concept of going from two-dimensional to three-dimensional is a little bit harder. So the first thing we do is we do the five chain. That's our base. And then we're gonna go, starting in the second stitch from the hook, and we're gonna do four single crochet. This is the portion that's gonna be on the top of the finger. And then after we've done those four single crochet, we're gonna go ahead and do four additional chains. And this is gonna be the portion that wraps around the tip of the finger. Hopefully you can see it with this, uh, this yarn. I tried it with white and it just didn't look very good. You know, it kind of just caught too much of the light. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two of these together. And then the next two together. And then I'm going into that chain that we made for going on the tip of the finger. And you remember there's four chains there. And so we're gonna do two single crochet together on the top of the chain. And then we're gonna do that again. get into the groove of just doing a single crochet. All right, so then after we do that, we are going to go back in. Now we have four, the two that we put on top of the single crochets and then the two that we put on top of the chains and we're gonna single crochet those together. So first I'm gonna do the two that were on top of the single crochets, crochet them into one, and then I'm gonna do the two that were on top of the chain. Sometimes it's hard when you get down to this level and just have a couple here. Okay, so almost done. All right. And so we've got that together. And then I'm just going to fasten off. And you can see here, hopefully, let me see how it's looking. Um, you can see that it kind of starts out flat right here. And that's the portion that you're gonna put on top of the finger. And then there's the round part there where all of a sudden it goes three dimensional and that's the part you're gonna put on the tip. So it'll be shaped kind of like that on top of the finger. Okay, so if you have any questions, go ahead and message me. Etsy is usually the, uh, will get you the quickest response.